Hey guys, BTGK here. I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some more reviews on somebody called I'm J Station or J Station or some fucker like that. But before we start, Dave Coma, right? I might be giving you a shout out or something here, but don't worry, I don't think anyone's going to want to subscribe to you. This guy has 347 subs, okay? And you might think that's normal. One, look at his fucking banner. Now, this this is my competition. This guy's doing better than me, right? So, uh, he's got 347 subscribers. His banner is absolutely godly. Just watch this video. Explain. Explain. Please, somebody. 347 subs. This guy's double me. This He is double me. I've got one foot. Oh, wait. Okay, he's not double. Yeah, he is. He's more than double. This guy's loads more than me. Look at this. Look. In the last 30 days, right? Subscribers in the last 30 days, okay? Uh... He, you know, obviously this guy's been uploading more, two days, three days, three days, one week, two weeks, two weeks, and also it's like he, okay, he, he does a load of random content, I thought he just did some, um, Roblox, but, um, as you can see, three subscribers, three subscribers, uh, two subscribers, he's gone peak, and then also he's gone, f like, four, four subscribers, it's on, um, I, I started uploading here, um, is my one upload, and then I re-uploaded it, I think, or something like that, what about views, oh god, please, Right, so he's a bit. He's been very on and off. Okay, uh, mine's been. Oh my god, what I am being owned by this. By, by this, just this. This guy has had two point eight five k views already. How? How? This don't make sense. Like, look. Um, what else is there? Videos in the last thirty days. Oh no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So you know, on the July the twenty third, uh, June the twenty third, he's done this. On July the second, he's made two. I made one on July the eighth. Did I? And then I made one on... Okay, I guess I did. But yeah, so um, can we please sort that out? If you're new and you're watching this, please subscribe to me. I reckon you'll like this. Otherwise, you want to click on this video. Peace. Okay, so I'm Jay Station over here. He's made... um, What he does when celebrity dies, right, is he'll exploit their death by making a video on them um, on a Ouija board. And he'll be like, oh my god, I'm contacting dead celebrity name here. Um, But Etika, somebody called Etika that sadly died on the 25th. Um, died and this guy has made a video on him and at first it was you know making um contacting uh Etika over in a Ouija board however when you clicked on the video it actually wasn't that so I guess you know he somehow clickbaited a clickbait video instead it was about how he wasn't going to make a video on Etika now this is a um, very contradictory uh con contradictory because whole video and thumbnail is about that and then he after this because he got a load of hate on this like a brick ton of uh, hate he made another video straight after saying i needed to say this and i want to go over these two videos first because he is very contradicting in both of these videos and i really want to you know i like, talk about it um because i needed to say this video that is the follow-up video from i'm sorry for what i did but it's only got 700k views while the i'm sorry it's got 2.1 mil so a lot of you guys have probably seen this or if not seen it you probably heard about it and this is why i really wanted to address it What's poppin' guys? I just got back from the middle of nowhere in an insane asylum. I checked Twitter right now, and I saw the most horrific news I've ever seen, man. Honestly, guys. And it, it comes from comments on my YouTube channel telling me, Jay, you better not do the Ouija board on Etika. Hell no, I'm not gonna do the Ouija board on Etika, bruh. Well, yeah, but you can see why you why I've said that. You've exploited so many other celebrities' death before. You know, we're sorry we assumed that. I mean, even your video and title was suggesting that you were going to do the same thing you've done for other unfortunate uh, celebrities like XXX. So, obviously, people are going to think that. If you're not donating to, to Etika or his family or mental health when you're tweeting about it, or you're making a YouTube video about it, you're doing it for attention, bro. So when you're going to get mad at me for the Ouija board, you're doing the same shit. Well, well, no, not really, is it? I mean, you're making videos directed at them, not saying, oh, Sadie's dead. You're making videos of them and exploiting them and pretending that their, their spirit is there talking to you. You know exactly what you're doing, and no one else is as bad as you. That's why you've got the reputation of being the most scummiest YouTuber on YouTube. It's for attention. Who cares about the ads, bro? You care? You think this YouTuber with 4 million subscribers care about 500 bucks from a YouTube video? Yes. He'll, he'll take the ads off and be like, oh, well... You don't really care though. You just you just doing it for attention, bro. Look, man, I almost died. What the hell? You haven't even called your name about Etika yet, and you turn to I almost died. Like seriously, nobody cares. 
Like, yeah, okay, you nearly died. I, I am actually crying for you over here. Are you dead? No. We clicked on this for Etika, and we've got you telling us that we're idiots for watching this, and we're idiots for blaming you. And then you turn around and be like, be sorry for me, I almost died. Like a week ago, bro. For real, bro. I'm up in my car right now. I'm ready to die, bro. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered, bro. You know what that feels like? And then people are saying online that that shit is fake, my dude. Who could possibly believe I'm J Station makes fake videos? Nobody on earth should think that, and that is so unreasonable and unethical. Nobody needs that kind of attention, do they, Jay? Like, you're acting so innocent now, and you're acting, you know, like you're all so beat up and everyone's against you. But have you seen the kind of videos you've sent a year ago when you were all high and mighty? Like, look, watch this, boys. It's 45 seconds. This is Camerai's finest. Watch this. Hey, buddy! Yo! You calling me human garbage, bro? You're the one breaking community guidelines, bro. I don't have two strikes. Bro, bullying, harassment. You can't just go and call me human garbage, just trash can, man. Look at yourself. Look at yourself, Keemstar. You're the human garbage, bro. You fatter than fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Hey, listen, I don't have two community guidelines strikes. And boy, he don't own ga uh, the gameplay from Fortnite. Fortnite owns that shit, all right? I put commentary over it. Fair fucking use. It's a fucking skit for YouTube. Chill your ass down. You you fucking, you, you, you just, you just suck, bro. You suck. You jealous, bro. I ain't going nowhere, you pussy. Let's fight. Hey, me and you, me and you, boxing ring. I'll knock your ass out, bitch. But remember, boys, we should feel sorry for him. I almost died. I'll knock your ass out, bitch. It just shows how much you change. The second everyone turns their back on you, you act as if you're some, some innocent player in this. When actually a year ago, when you were in your all higher mighty, you know, when you thought you were everything, and as I said, it's karma. Bro, you can't tell the difference between my regular video and this shit. Admitting his videos are fake. I thought I was legit about to die. And I'm like, man, they better not do no freaking Ouija board about me, bro. That really had me thinking, bro, about everything I did. About those videos I made. Doing the Ouija board. It's not a joke, bro. It's not a joke. Listen, right, your stop story is great. And you quote unquote nearly died. Not like you've said that in all your videos before and it hasn't happened. But... If you really, really meant it, and you really, really think that what you've done about Ouija boards are offensive, delete the ones you've got, especially the one with XXX, because that's still up there, and you still haven't deleted it, no matter what you say on this video. Like, I'm not buying anything you're saying, and I don't think anyone else is either. Everyone's starting to get sick of you. Don't act like you're the, the, you're the guy's best friend, because you weren't, bro. Don't act like he was the most best person, and you can vouch for him, because you can't, bro, because you don't know him. Because you know what, man? If you didn't feel like Etika did, you don't got depression, my dude. You don't got depression. You're doing it for attention. So next time you sad, suck it up, bruh. And just give your, your, your fans what they want to see. Boys, remember this. He has said something that contradicts everything else. If you're sad, suck it up. But that, as its own, is such a horrible message. If you're not feeling depressed with a mental disorder, then you should just suck it up and give the fans what they want to see. It's the worst message you could give, and I'm so I, I am so going to show you why. I did not know Etika. I didn't even watch his videos, dude. Hashtag no bitch niggas. So the next video we're looking at, right, is I needed to say this. That's another video by him with only 779k views. That is nothing compared to his first video that he got all the hate on. He really does contradict himself in this video, and I really want to talk about it. So, yeah, we're just going to jump straight back into this one. This man changed my life. I'm pretty sure you're less than 20 seconds in, and you've already contradicted yourself, right? Like, this guy has changed my life. No, he hasn't. You might have changed how much money you're going to earn now, because of how much controversy you've stirred, but no. You, you don't know him. I mean, hey, I I'll let you take it. Don't act like he was the most best person and you can vouch for him because you can't, bro. Because you don't know him. Is that what you said? It's You're just doing this for attention. That's what you said it leads up to. However, you are playing by your rules. You said as long as you can say that, I don't care as long as you put money to it. So I suppose it's not contradicting. It just shows how much of a muppet you actually are. And it's still sad. I'm still really sad that some people are going to believe you. But I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell them they're stupid. 
you do a very good job of demonstrating that, really. I never wanted to capitalize on Etika's death or suicide in general. Really? Is that how much you're going to lie? Look at this thumbnail. But you're not trying to capitalize that he died, right? You uploaded this video one day after he was confirmed dead. So once again, you are lying. YouTube needs to become. So if any of you now have looked at this, and even though I've been talking over it, you still think, I think JayStation really does want to change YouTube for a better place. Look at this. This is his most latest, like, upload. This guy doesn't care either. And he thinks just because he's throwing £2,000 into a, a cause that's helping his issues, people care. Like, he, people are going to think he cares and just drop. But actually, how does it come in a better place when you're still lying? The thought did come in my head. What people are going to say online about me. We're making videos saying this guy's a trash human being. Or are they going to say, it's all an act. Would my mom be crying? And you'd be telling how, how much of a shitty person I am for faking this video when it wasn't fake. So that's why I titled it the same as the XXX video and the same as the Mac Miller video. Because I wanted everyone who hated it before to come and see this new one where I apologized about it. Listen, Jay, just to be honest with you, I still call that you're lying. You only did that so that you got the initial clicks, and then you changed it. And that's why you've changed it now. Because you got the initial clicks. After you've got all them clicks, you're like, I will change it now. Because now it will be effective, and now it will look like this was the story. So although it's a pretty good cover-up, and the way you've said it kind of took a toll on me, I realized you're a guy that makes Kermit the Frog videos and you actually shouldn't have any of my attention at all.